Hi, I am Melanie Canelli, and today I am going to teach you or the concept of the composition of functions, where we take a function, two functions, and compose them together. But first we're going to start with a quick review. Okay, we're going to start with the function f of x equals 3x minus 1, and we're going to do a simple evaluation of the function. We're going to see what this function equals when we plug a 2 in for x. So this is f of x, this is f of 2, and that is just denoting wherever we have an x, we're going to put a 2 in. So now we have 3 times 2 is 6 take away 1, and we know that 6 take away 1 is 5. So when we evaluate this function at 2, the answer is 5. And I just showed you that simple evaluation because we're going to use that same concept with composition. So we'll take that off. And now with composition of functions, you need two functions usually. Now I'm going to give you g of x equals the square root of x plus 2. And to begin with, we're going to compose the function f of x with the function g of x. This is called composition. So just like before when we did f of 2, this time we're doing f of g of x. So wherever there is an x in our function, we're going to put the entire g of x function in. So we now have 3 times, what is g of x? It is x plus 2, the square root of x plus 2. So wherever there was an x, I put the entire function in, and that gives us um, f of x composed with g of x. Another way people write this is, we call it fog, or we compose f of x with g of x. And that is the exact same answer. The square root of x plus 2 minus 1. Oops, let's move that parenthesis in the right place. There we go. All right. So now let's look at it going the other way. Now let's compose g, the function g of x, with f of x. So wherever there is a, an x in this function, we're going to substitute the function in. I'm going to just come down here because I'm running out of room. So I'm now going to put um, the square root of, wherever there is an x, I am putting... 3x minus 1 in plus 2. So that is the composition of g of f of x. Another way we note that is goff. So it's the exact same thing. It is the square root of 3x minus 1 plus 2. So that is how we compose two functions together. Now I want to show you one more concept. All right, let's take the function f of x equals 3x minus 1, and I'm going to introduce, this is called the difference quotient. We're going to say f of x plus h minus f of x equal all over h. Like I said, that is called the difference quotient. It is used in calculus to find limits. Now we're not going to find limits, we're not going to even do calculus, but we're just going to use this difference quotient to evaluate this function. So we're going to break this up in pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is take that part of the difference quotient, the f of x plus h. I'm going to write it right here. Now remember, I'm going to just put a 1 right here so that you know that this step corresponds to this step right here. So now we have f of x plus h. So this is saying because it's a function, wherever there is an x, I'm going to put x plus h in there. So now I have 3 times x plus h minus 1. Now let's go ahead and just distribute that 3 through. So now we have 3 
x plus 3h minus 1. I've just distributed the 3 through to get that. This right here represents this part of the difference quotient. Okay, now the difference quotient says minus f of x. Well, what is f of x? It's 3x minus 1. So I'm going to say minus 3x minus 1. Okay, so we have this part minus f of x. So I just did the minus f of x. Now let's distribute that negative sign through, which gives us 3x plus 3h minus 1 minus 3x plus 1. I just, we just changed the signs there, distribute that through. That is all over h. Okay, so now we've done all the calculating. I have a positive 3x and a negative 3x. It cancels. I have a negative 1 and a positive 1. That cancels. So now I am left with 3h over h. Your h's go to 1. And so our answer is 3. So whenever we evaluate using the difference quotient, it usually turns out something like this, where you get a whole lot of numbers, look somewhat intimidating, but usually most of your terms will cancel and you'll just be left with a simple. You might have two terms left over, but it usually goes down to something very simplistic. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. And just one more time to review. We reviewed quickly how to evaluate. We learned how to compose f of g of x, or fog. We learned how to compose g of f of x, or Goff. And now I've just run you through how to evaluate a function using the difference quotient. Hopefully it's been helpful. Thank you.